Good evening, Ghana, and welcome to this evening's edition of Sports Night Live here on Joy Sports and Multi TV. It's a good time to be a Ghanaian because Ghana has qualified for a third successive World Cup, and this evening we are going to be celebrating the feat of the senior national team, the Black Stars, who have qualified for a third World Cup appearance. I have two guests in the studio, one a dribbling wizard in his days, one a football historian. These days, he's been addressed as a sports historian because he covers everything sports. We'll be back after this break. My name is Nathaniel Atto and I'm host of Sports Today on the Joy Sports channel on Multi TV. It's exciting and it's action packed as we bring you all the compelling sports stories here in Ghana and also internationally. Between 7 a.m. and 8.30 a.m., it's every putt, every medal, every punch, every trophy, every card, and every kick right here on Joy Sports on Multi TV. Whether it's on the pitch or in the ring or on the race tracks, you know you have every reason to join me. It's Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It's it's all action-packed and it's all exciting. My name is Nathaniel Atto and I have love for sport. Thus and every Tuesday at 7 p.m. only on Joy Sports, the Premier League show. The new lighting really provides the finishing touch. Where did you get this from? Global Lighting Center, of course. They've always been affordable and their quality is second to none. When it comes to lighting, there's only one name: Global Lighting Center. We've got all the latest European models. It's not just the quality outside. Our office lighting features European standard capacitors and ballast to protect your products. Our outdoor lights are weather protected and their diffusers won't discolor over time. Moreover, we offer technical advice to all our customers before and after sales. All of which convinced me and my family that Global Lighting has the brightest ideas and at the most affordable prices for all our lighting needs. Global Lighting Center, your solution to quality lighting. We've been able to see over 100 patients who need support. We cannot do this work on our own. We need your help. We need your support. Look at these children with these anomalies. What do you look at? TV is organizing a national installer training throughout the country. The training is for fresh people who would like to learn about satellite installation. Trainees will also go through some marketing tutorials to turn them into result-oriented salesmen. Upper East, Bogatanga from December 10. Pick a form at Melmat Multimedia. Western Region, at Asankwegra on December 13. Pick a form at CME Enterprise. Cost of training is 40 Ghana CDs, which includes ID card, certificate, and lunch. To pick up a form, call 0302 
011-688 or 0244-340-424 and 0244-340-415. Visit us on www.multitvworld.com or call 0302-211-68025 for a multi-TV accredited dealer. We are back from the break and I'm sure you're looking forward to my guest on the show. Thus evening I have a team, a very, very experienced team. Two men who know their staff as far as football is concerned. To my immediate left, I have Uncle James Oediji, who is a football historian, and then um, the man they call the dribbling magician, the professor. He has so many titles. For those of you who have the pleasure of seeing him play and explain these, they say he was something else. They say he was a better version of Lionel Messi. So if you missed him play, you missed a lot. It's always a pleasure to be in the company of a very revered gentleman like you. Uh, I'm not even too sure who to start with. Maybe I'll start with, <laughs> I'll start with the professor. <laughs> yeah. because, I mean, he, he played the game to the very highest yeah. level. <clears throat> Prof, we have just seen our boys make us very, very, very proud. Yeah, very, very proud. We, we, we thank God in the first place, but they, they, they also worked you know, for it and they deserve it. Especially the, 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 the a Ghanaian coach who is able to you know, chuck uh, such uh, an important uh, you know, milestone. And uh, it's, it's something that uh, has credited, you know, the lookup, you know, coaches to, you know, a certain level that every local coach should be proud that he can also go in there and make, you know, Ghana proud. But everything has to has a start. And that, that is uh, wherever you are, you have to make sure you do your work very well and then you will be elevated to, you know, such a position because definitely... Uh, 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 Apia has, make, has made all of us uh, very, very proud. And we wish him all the best, you know, to that uh, highest level in coaching, that is the World Cup. And I, I'm very sure he's going to, you know, do it and do it well for everybody's satisfaction. Uncle James, uh, you, you were a football historian yes. and you have followed the um, exploits of the senior national team for many, many, many years. We all knew what a team the Egyptian uh, side was, but of course, uh, with all that has been transpiring in their country in the last uh, 24 months, it, it was likely that we're not going to see the same kind of Egyptian team that we did see play in the final in Angola 2010 and in Ghana 2008, and of course, when they hosted the Nations Cup in 2006. When we were drawn against them, what were the first things that went through your mind? I panicked. Sincerely speaking, I was not comfortable at all. In fact, a motor champion from Asampa called me in the hospital bed and told me that's the plan. I said, why? Why should this plan? And I wasn't surprised when the FIFA general secretary team said that it's unfortunate one of the greatest football nations in Africa will not be at the Mondial in 2014. That is the pairing. It's unfortunate uh, things have to go this way, but uh, I thank God that uh, all is well that ends well. The Blasters have qualified and the Egyptians have also shown their dexterity. The fact that they are a football playing nation, they played very well today and they deserve the victory. What has really uh, made the whole thing to be more, uh, what do you call, emphatic is the fact that the Ghanaian team came back from a near dead end to rescue their image, to ensure that we contain that tradition of making the senior national football team of Ghana, the Black Stars, a difficult side to beat. From 1955 to date, I can count on my fingertips the number of matches the Blasters have lost, especially at home. So this team has now changed my perception of the grading of the legendary teams. I had the 63 team number one, the cup winning teams, of course. 65 number two, 78 Polo and Co. <laughs> the helicopter people, mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the head of sales is a helicopter with them. Then the 82 team. But I'm saying that this team that qualified, especially that team that played in Kumasi and gave uh, the Egyptians, the baptismal of fire, 6-1. Mm. 
uh, has come to be the number one team that Ghana has seen. Is it because uh, when you look at this generation of players, there are some who have had the opportunity who will be playing at the third World Cup barring any unforeseen circumstances, the likes of uh, Samoa Jan, the likes of Sula Ali Muntari, they're going to be playing in the uh, 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 third World Cup. Mm. If you look at uh, the generation of Andre Ayu, Samuel Nkumenko, they're going to be playing in a second World Cup. Mm. And then you have a greater number of these players who are also going to be playing in their first World Cup, yeah. barring any unforeseen circumstances. Oh, yes. That is just unfortunate that the pioneering effort cannot be surpassed. I don't know whether you agree. I do. Uh, so when we talk of uh, the 63 team, for example, Agrippine Dodakwa, Ubafasi, Mfung Dodankra, Ado Damit and Co., you cannot bring these boys to be above them. When you even go further to 65, or say Kofi, John Sati Kofi, uh, uh, Reverend uh, Kofi Pari, John Nawe, and Kofi, the same thing. If you come to that 78, that is my team. The 78, I was with them in men's school. It was an all-star the team. Even those who didn't play and uh, were in camp, like the late Emmanuel Kwashi, like Azifaha, like uh, some other guys, were all uh, legends. They became the captains of the Blaster. Mm -hmm. Now we now come to this generation. Uh, Sule has made this three, three consecutive times. Uh, Asamojan, three consecutive times. Asian will be two, and many others. And uh, Wakasu and Co., young boys, very energetic, very hard fighting, mm -hmm. like the Co said. They also worked to achieve this uh, glory. So I think uh, it is a good omen for the country. And they should also note that there are younger ones who are following them, especially those boys uh, who played in that uh, abortive uh, on the, uh, the work. Wake up on the 20 and mm -hmm. got the bronze medal. There was another as a four and code, there was another crop of generation. So this country has confirmed by today's uh, performance or by the last two uh, matches that it is a, a country of blessed or blessed talents. Football, natural gifted, naturally gifted. So let's do the grading again. Please allow me, Prof, to regrade as this team well, that that's why you're here. <laughs> that's this team that qualified, then followed by. Uh, 63, 65, 78, and then 82. Important thing, the administrative part, don't forget about that one, was very effective. They did the men's game. They tried to sway FIFA from playing the match in that, uh, at that time, unfortunately, hostile environment, to encouraging the supporters to go, to the governmental support, and to the prayers of everybody, and especially the input of the local coaches. I heard the professor on many occasions talking about Giving the encouragement to the blaster coach, that's James Kosapia, my namesake, and then to ensure that we don't bring any foreigners to come and disturb the chemistry at all. Mm. Uh, he said it very clearly, and it has shown, and I've been quoted on many occasions, in fact, about four years ago on Super, uh, uh, Super Morning Show, that foreign coaches contribute insignificantly to the growth and development of football in Africa. They're only interested in their job because of the pay packets mm. and because they want to enrich their credentials. George Open, we have made this very clear, and we have seen it today. What a white man can do, a Ghanaian coach can do better. Let, let, let me come back to uh, the professor. For, for all that has been said about all these generations that our Uncle, uh, Uncle James have, um, has enumerated, why do you think that in the last seven, eight years, we've been able to build a team that has taken us to three consecutive World Cups, whereas in the generations in which you played, and even earlier, I didn't get to see them play. I've only yeah. watched a few videos. I have been told that your teams were made up of unbelievable stars. Yeah. But for reasons that a lot of people did not understand at that time, yeah. and even till now, you were not able to play at the World Cup. Yeah, I mean, uh, we were limited, you know. In what way? We were limited in the sense that uh, the awareness you know, level was our Nations Cup. And that is what we did. And we did with exception, you know. But if you look at even the, the, the World Cup, there was only one sto uh, a slot. And what, the, when you used to play? Yeah, yes. when we used there to play. There was only one slot for Only Africa. one slot. And uh, it's, 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 uh, even the, the fact remains that uh, the, 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 the attention was not given to, to going to the World Cup. All the attention was in, uh, uh, with the Nations Cup. And uh, it looks very clear. We did everything possible to harness you know, the, that cup Four good times before even Egypt came. That that is why you know when we sit down and look at these youngsters, the sort of uh, opportunity that I think they should have even you know gone past us by even winning the nation. That is the only thing left with them. That is the only thing left with them. Otherwise, you know, qualification to the World Cup three times is 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 the greatest thing that uh, every footballer 
you know, wants to get there. But then the Nation Cup is the prestigious, prestigious, you know, a, a, a World Cup for Africa. So we, we expect them to, with this, uh, you know, kind of performance, I think it's an opportunity. And uh, with, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, unfortunately, the, the, uh, uh, Coach Apia was able to get a, a chance, but unfortunately he, he didn't make it. But then you cannot take anything from them. If, if what is, you know, happened, we want to upgrade and then, you know, whatever you do, you must move forward. There should be a, 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 a sort of opportunity that these youngsters have today uh, with the, the sort of, uh, you know, uh, managerial skill that is in the system. Fantastic. And if we have half of this managerial skill, you know, yes, yeah, I mean, we could go places. You see, the interest, the energetic, you know, performance of even, look at how they moved. Look at how they moved to uh, uh, with this, uh, you know, the uh, 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 World Cup qualification. They did everything, and everybody was doing his work. So it was clear that there is no way we're going to qualify to the to, to the World Cup. And uh, I think uh, we we have to give them the 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 the, 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 the credit that they, they 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 deserve because they've done a good a human job. And I hope uh, you know anybody who will get this chance to even improve, you know, to, towards it, because we don't want to see things going back. And uh, 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 the, 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 the sort of, uh, you know, football players that we also, you know, trying to develop, I think uh, is, is also very, very important that uh, we have to look at it in a very holistic way and let them know that, you know, we have talents. Talents are in the system. So we have to make sure that uh, the growth of uh, the, the, these youngsters are systematically. They have to, you see, they, just like what the, uh, James was just saying, you see, the last, th those who won the, 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 uh, the, 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 the World Cup, yes, you know, a lot of them are in, in, in the system now. And this is what we're supposed to, we have to be, you know, promoting them and block. Mm -hmm. You see, we have to be promoting so that the growth will be, you know, systematic. We don't have to leave and go and take them, No. Otherwise, we'll be, we'll be wasting if uh, the, the team, a team doesn't you know, win a World Cup. It, look at where even the, this last under-20, what they did. You, you understand? Yes, so I we do. have to promote them so that we see the growth and then we see the, 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 the quality and the standard growing you know, generation after generation. And it's so important that uh, some of us are, have, 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 have dedicated ourselves down the lane at the grassroots level, trying to develop these, these young people because, you know, talents do differ from generation after generation. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we are seeing at the highest level today, we see football at the highest level. It, it looks very clear. These youngsters have the opportunity to see football at the highest level. So when you, you are teaching them, you must let them know that, look, this is where you're supposed to get to. But uh, we shouldn't forget that, you know, and that is what... One thing that uh, the, this um, administration has done by you know, ensuring that they have the belief in the Ghanaian coach. Because for a very long time, we, we've been, I mean, we've, we've changed you know, uh, our way for a very long time. Mm. Not until uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 Kwesi Apia came. Wait, you saw, look at the goals that have been scored. This is typically Ghanaian style of football and a Ghanaian coach. And when these white men came, what do they do? They changed the, the, our style well, of I mean, they, they also had their own philosophy. So naturally, you'd expect that, that, is that what, when they that, came in, they would also try to do things their own way. They are changing our style of food. We have, we have a style of food. Which is what? That is, uh, you know, uh, the agro type of football. It, the agro type of football is, is that not that we, we play with the ball, but we possess the ball. And then when we, we possess the ball, you know what to do with it. Look at the goal that was scored in the, in the last minute. In the last minute. Three touches. Yes, this is, this is football. The Ghanaians, you know, a, a style of football. You know? Let the ball, you know, do the work and the right, you know, uh, 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 passes are given and the right goals are scored. You, you understand? Yes, look I at the, 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 the Egyptians. They have a style. Look at. They played all the football that, that, that you may think of. But what is important is what we did. Which was to win. <laughs> to, 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 uh, we, to we're score. going to be doing a lot more talking yeah. uh, as far as the game is concerned. But uh, before we go for our first round of commercials, Uncle James, I just want to put this to you. What would you make of the efforts 
of the Ghana Football Association in seeing Team Ghana make it to a third World Cup. Excellent. I mean, there is no other word I will use. I said it uh, after the second World Cup in uh, 2010. I said I hope Ghana will progress and make it a standard uh, qualification. That is 2014 will be in Rio de Janeiro. And Katu, for the veteran uh, sports uh, uh, journalist and sports analyst, ask me the question. Do you think an African country can win the World Cup and win? I said, oh, the next World Cup. I said, which country? I said, ah, you have the Ghana Black Stars. You have the Super Eagles. You have the Elephants of, uh, you have the Lions of Cameroon. And these are the teams that have qualified. I hope uh, Burkina Faso will join us so that we now have a mini Echo Wars games in uh, Brazil in 2014. <laughs> yes, because that is the meaning of it. it and it? the president of the uh, Ghana G, uh, Football Association, he, because I'm talking of his performance now, has been very prophetic. He said that when he was uh, voted as the president of WAFU, WAFU, that's the West African Football mm -hmm. Union, he said uh, competitions make football. Without competition, there's no football. So WAFU is going to organize a lot of competitions to ensure that the level of the game goes up. And they are going to start the WAFU games in uh, Kumasi. Exactly. Ghana. And so when you now rate him as the successful WAFU uh, president, successful GFA president, uh, successful member of the CAF mm -hmm. uh, committee, and also a member of the, the FIFA, uh, what you call, mini committee. Then he's a successful man. And when the head is successful, then you can look at the whole uh, executive committee of the GFV being successful. You can look at the emergency committee of the uh, executive committee of the... Then I coined one uh, statement. I said, the emergency committee of the executive committee of the GFA is the management committee of the Black Stars. Mm. So if the Black Stars are qualified, then you have to be careful with all these people. There are a lot of other uh, uh, pressure groups that I have not mentioned. We are talking of the ex-footballers. You saw the way they have all been involved, especially in this Kwesi Apia matter, that Kwesi Apia should be assisted to qualify, and which he has done. He has cut a niche for himself in the annals of coaching, not only in Ghana, not only in Africa, but the whole world. Mm. When they now look at the lineup of all those uh, big coaches, Kolari, uh, you have uh, Filigari, you have all those big men. Then you also mention Kwesi Apia. Then people could say, who is Kwesi Apia? He's a Ghanaian coach, a young man. Who are just going so he's 52 in. now. No, we are so not talking he's of not young, all the young When you are talking, you are not talking of Kwesi Apia taking blast. Is it up to two years? Yeah. Let's say two years fully, mm. not as an assistant. Compared to a scholar who won in 202. Mm. Mm. You see there's a gap sure, in yeah. terms of uh, the pedigree, mm. in terms of the experience. And another sector of the uh, citizenry is the media. The media has been very critical. Mm. In fact, I really sometimes get worried about the degree of criticism. Mm. And it's all geared towards getting and showing that the blast has qualified. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then uh, this uh, choice of uh, many players. I have been one of the people who has been criticizing Chris uh, Apia. Mm -hmm. That are why are you inviting as many as 35 players? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Make your blast at 25 and yeah. then choose. They say no. They should give a whole opportunity to every Ghanaian anywhere who is qualified to play. And it has shown today. Yeah. Because if we didn't go for this nationality switch, mm. we wouldn't have gotten Kevin for, to invite him. Mm -hmm. If we have not gone for this uh, uh, mass promotion, like a prophet mm. saying, of that 209 on that 20 team, mm. Andrea, you, mm. Ajman Bedou, and Co., yeah. Inkum, and Co., we would not have gotten this uh, set of boys mm. who were experimented upon in uh, Angola, yeah. and then they took them to uh, South Africa in yeah. uh, 2013. And then you, you also have the supporters' groups coming together for the first time. Mm. Not only as Gansu, as Insu, as Die Hard, as all this, as this, as a Joy FM, as a <laughs> <laughs> but coming together as a Ghana yeah, supporters. Yeah. You saw that harmony. Mm. You saw that spiritualism. And then you saw the way they brought in the men mm. of God. Yeah, they did that prayer that Thursday before the march in Baba Yara Stadium, where the Pharaohs made their water leave. And you saw the chief imam, doctor himself, coming to bless the whole thing. So we had everything going. Everybody was involved. Everybody should share in this glory. Yeah. Everybody should, should, should know that he contributed one way or the other. So at, at the end of the day, that is uh, the one that every blue is facing. We should draw the line. All criticisms, whether good or bad, was in good faith. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Two, how do we now go to uh, Brazil? And when we get to Brazil... Sure, <laughs> sure. Talking of how we now go to Brazil, I just want us to take um, a short breather at this point. And then when we come back, we focus on the game proper. We'll be back after this break. Mm. Hi, 
right, my name is Nathaniel Atto and I'm host of Sports Day on the Joy Sports Channel on Multi TV. It's exciting and it's action packed as we bring you all the compelling sports stories here in Ghana and also internationally. Between 7 a.m. and 8.30 a.m., it's every putt, every medal, every punch, every trophy, every card, and every kick right here on Joy Sports on Multi TV. Whether it's on the pitch or in the ring or on the race tracks, you know you have every reason to join me. It's Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It's all action packed and it's all exciting. My name is Nathaniel Atto and I have love for sport. Show thus and every Tuesday at 7 p.m. only on Joy Sports, the Premier League show. Your new lighting really provides the finishing touch. Where did you get this from? Global Lighting Center, of course. They've always been affordable and their quality is second to none. When it comes to lighting, there's only one name: Global Lighting Center. We've got all the latest European models. It's not just the quality outside. Our office lighting features European standard capacitors and ballast to protect your products. Our outdoor lights are weather protected and their diffusers won't discolor over time. Moreover, we offer technical advice to all our customers before and after sales. All of which convinced me and my family that Global Lighting has the brightest ideas and at the most affordable prices for all our lighting needs. Global Lighting Center, your solution to quality lighting. We've been able to see over 100 patients who need support. We cannot do this work on our own. We need your help. We need your support. Look at these children with these anomalies. What do you have? TV is organizing a national installer training throughout the country. The training is for fresh people who would like to learn about satellite installation. Trainees will also go through some marketing tutorials to turn them into result-oriented salesmen. Upper East, Bogatanga from December 10. Pick a form at Melmat Multimedia. Western Region, at Asankwegra on December 13. Pick a form at CME Enterprise. Cost of training is 40 Ghana CDs, which includes ID card, certificate, and lunch. To pick up a form, call 0302-211-688 or 0244-340-424 and 0244-340-415.
strategy books now. Visit us on www.multitvworld.com or call 0302-211-68025 for a multi-TV accredited dealer. We're back from the break. This is Sports Night Live. You enjoy sports on multi-TV. We're celebrating the victory of the senior national team, the Black Stars. They may have lost earlier this evening, but they have made it to a third successive World Cup, and that's what we're celebrating on the show this evening. Prof, let's now focus on the game. Yeah. We had won by six goals to one. Yeah. The threat was still there. I yeah. mean, for every professional player, yeah. I mean, looking at Team Ghana, it was going to be very difficult to say yeah. that this team would lose by five goals to nil yeah. to see the Egyptians qualify at yeah. Ghana's expense. Yeah. Before this game, what were your thoughts? Yeah, I, 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 I thought, you know, we, we, we're not going to get it easy. But then, uh, you know, they are not going to score... You know, to the team of uh, you know five goals, <laughs> you know. But uh, anything can happen in football. It shows very clear that uh, they, they they are going to you know come on us. They were on us throughout the game, and then uh, we also did uh, you know what we can do to ensure that we kept them uh, uh, at bay. And uh, if you look at the way the the, the 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 game went on, they tried to dictate the pace. But unfortunately, in the first half. We try to also, you know, uh, 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 stand, you know, uh, in, in the same line with them. We should have, you know, when they speed up, we should have calmed them, you know, the, 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 the game down and then try to, you know, catch them on a, 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 a break by keeping the ball a, a little. But then we, we also, in a rush, the way they got, which we are, we were then uh, in, in a comfortable uh, lead. But then the, the good thing that the, the defensive, you know, set up, the way the, the players come behind, you know, the ball. We see a lot of, you know, the, the, the blaster players in the game. That made even, you know, the, the, the chances very, they created chances. But it looks as if the chances, you know, you know were half chances that should be, to, to, you should take. And it's not easy to, to do that. Unfortunately, when they had the first goal, it's, it was clear we could have even saved that, the, the, the situation. Yeah. But they had a chance. That is, what there was, that is football. You know, without mistakes, there is no football, and they had that chance. But we were able to, you know, keep them, keep them at bay up to the first, uh, you know, uh, 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 half. And uh, I knew very well the second half would not be the same uh, uh, pressure like the the, 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 the the first half. So what happened? They come down. Now, you know, this is the time we, we also show our, uh, the quality that we have. We keep on playing, and as usual, a uh, 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 coach know, uh, uh, he knows what to do. At a particular time, the changes that he made. Oh, were you surprised that he started a player like Kevin Prince watching on the bench? Yes. You could see even very clear, Kevin is not fit. It's not fit. You could see him limping. But then what is important is what he came to, to do. do. <laughs> you know, so he was... He know, was silent as critics, some uh, yes, would say. actually. Because the way he was walking, you know, I was expecting, you know, some sort of, uh, you know, you know, ad attention, yes, some sort of uh, aggressiveness in, in his game coming to because he's, he looks fresh. So I was expecting him to come and make some move because we were under pressure at that time. But he took it cool and then uh, he did what is important. But I score. Yes, to <laughs> score. But very, very important that we, we, he, he has to tune his mind because. I mean, uh, 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 World Cup is, is, is a platform that every player wants to get there. And uh, if, uh, you know, he being there, you know, definitely a younger one will, 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 will lose well, a chance. Exactly. You know, and so we expect him to, to, to give us, you know, something special because we have already given him the platform. You, the you platform. don't think he's given us something special? By scoring, the, we lost. We lost, but we qualified. It's already we, we already have qualification. We qualified in Ghana here, yes. in his absence. So we 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 and as you really said, if he had not scored the goal, if he had not scored the goal, you see. But we have to look at things, you know, critically. We need the young young ones for for tomorrow. The future is also very very important. You see, maybe a youngster will have an opportunity to, to fill that World Cup, uh, you know. You, 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 you have been a player before. So looking at Coach Chrissy up here, you know, introducing what someone will say, a mix of uh, 
uh, youthful exuberance and very experienced players. When we started this qualification process, Michael Essien was not a part of the team. Yeah. Even in a game against Zambia, I recall, he started from the bench. Now he gets to start the games. Yeah. Sule Muntari has had his problems with a coach. He's mm. been dropped at some yeah. point. Kevin has not made himself available almost all the time. Mm. So in almost all our matches, our coach maybe has had to play differently with different tactics. Yeah. But he still ends up winning. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, this shows... How, how much of a problem is this? Yeah, I think uh, this shows uh, that, uh, you know, Kosi Apia, you know, has something special. You know, he, 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 he doesn't rely so much on, uh, you know, uh, individual, uh, uh, players. individual players. In the, though you need them. But then he has to inject some sort of discipline by showing that even the younger ones... Are good. And lucky that he is, things were going right. And fortunately that he was, that... Uh, you know, at a point in time, these are, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the matured ones, you know, yes, the returnees. <laughs> the returnees started coming. And it showed very clear that the younger ones are there. If you are not prepared to play, they will joke. And they have to show that maturity that, no, we, 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 we are matured. Let us, let us, you know, finish our, the job uh, for you to continue. So he, he had the opportunity to mix that youthful uh, 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 ones with the, with the matured ones, and fantastic, uh, uh, I think uh, I, I have to, you know. We we'll, would we'll, we'll, we'll spend a bit more time on Chrissy up here, but Uncle James, yeah. again, when, when we look at our performance earlier this evening, it was very clear that the Egyptians were going to come at us all guns blazing, like we did see, especially in, in the first half. Were there any moments in a game where you thought that if they had scored a second goal before the end of the first half, for example, you never know? Oh, yes, they could have scored a second goal. It would not have changed anything. One thing that was very clear, as clear as uh, the crystal ball, was that Ghana was going to qualify. Like Prof said, we qualified in, in Ghana here in the first leg. I mean, beating Blaster 5-0 is unthinkable. Like I said on your network, I said to be the eighth wonder of the world if we, the Egyptians prevent Blaster from going to Brazil. And this was exactly what happened. When they had that one goal, I saw the hastiness on their part. Then, you know, even uh, Zaki had to go in for the ball to bring to the center. So the Blacks has uh, allowed them to do all this uh, theoretical play and then set it that held them to that 0 1 uh, lead in the first half. In the second half, the game changed. They were still coming in, but they were showing signs of fatigue. You said that Gado was pulled out, he was, uh, he was tired. Uh, oh, sorry. I mean, Zaki. Zaki was pulled out, Gado was brought in. They made two other changes, so they exhausted their substitution. And then because they were over, over uh, working. working, their back line also got tired. You saw that pass. Three touches, you could not intercept the ball. Mm. I was in Afu to uh, Asamoja, Asamoja to Kevin. And Kevin showed what a whole lot of players don't understand. It is not the amount of energy you spend on the game. It how is your position, you how intelligent pitch. you are on the pitch. Especially when you, when you don't have the ball. You are, you are more dangerous than the person who has the ball. You see the way Kevin outpaced the defender. Only one pace. Positioning. Position himself and got that ball. No, no hard work. He shows the size or uh, the level of a, a mature player. And then it, it confirms what I said, what I saw some four, two days ago on the powerful network. I said, uh, it's, a, it's a humorous manner. Uh, never mind. I, I said, if there's more masculine, is dancing in the market, market square, dance. And the bigger masquerade comes to dance. What do the small masquerade do? It has to give way. And we saw it today. One day I asked me, who's the smaller masquerade? I said, hard working ones, the small masquerade. Who's the bigger masquerade? I said, Kevin Watson, who's the bigger masquerade? You saw when the Kevin came in, Warren's moved out, we got the result that we wanted. That goal deflated the two goals scored by the uh, Egyptians tonight. It took away their joy and happiness. Mm. It brought joy and happiness to the visiting uh, Ghanaian fans. It brought joy and happiness to people who were skeptical about a local coach qualifying the Black Star. Because that decision on that day, if you remember at the conference room of the GFA, the uh, GFA president said that we are giving this job to a, a Ghanaian coach. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope that he will succeed. And we are giving him a target of the semi-final at the World Cup. I'm changing that uh, philosophy. Mr. President, if you, are, if you are reading my lips, you should go in for the ultimate. Because our 2010 performance was the best how, in Africa. How good, how good has this team become? 
the, this team is still within this time frame, especially this after team, like, um, South Africa 2010. Yes, have uh, we matured like you would want to see the team mature? No, no, this team has been in transit, like who said. You use this set of players for a particular match, these players are not available. You use another mm. set of players. Now we have a team, roughly about 30 players. If you take this 2014, 2014, mm. 20, there's a 2014, mm -hmm. and then you bring in those on injury list, mm. that John Boy, Isaac Bosa, and uh, some other players, yeah. maybe there's another one. Rabi. Uh, Rabi, uh, Rabi, thank you. Then you now have this 30 team, which I think should be made at least for next year. You hold this 30 team. At any given time, you can do your uh, FIFA 23 or 24, I don't know. Uh, 20. Then 23. there's seven. Then there's seven who will still be in the team. Yeah. Of which we can ask a GMPC or any, any uh, leading sponsor, sponsor to them. sponsor them. So that they are part of the team. Then they'll go and do what I said on this network. See, don't look. You know, see, don't look. Mm -hmm. You go to the World Cup and then you look at what is happening. That is what Pereira did with uh, Ronaldo in the 1994 World Cup in USA. That is what uh, Robson did with uh, David Seaman in uh, Italian 90. That is what uh, the Cameroonian coach wanted to do with Ruiz Amila in 1994. Remember, mm -hmm. he asked him to sit by him and said, watch for any loophole. They said the goalkeeper has been playing with the ball. Uh, the Colombian goalkeeper, Ruguta. Already so go in there and uh, disturb him. <laughs> so you can take some boys there to just feel it. Like, I'm very happy Adia was taken along. Mm. Because Adia knows how to score goals. And Jordan. So you, yes, and Jordan. So you be, you be, okay, fine. So you also have a lot of boys around. Yeah. So you build their confidence. And then when they get to the 2014 World Cup, even if they don't play, I mean, they don't start. The, the, the influence of certain key players, uh, Prof, I'll come to you, of certain players in the team, vis-a-vis -vis other players who could have also been given the opportunity, for yeah. example. Yeah. If you're looking at our goalkeepers, mm. Fatal Dauda still barely ge gets a game at Orlando Pirates, yeah. but he's our first choice. Yeah. If he doesn't get games for another seven months, yeah. I don't know whether he will still be our first choice goalkeeper going into South Africa. Yeah, it, you're looking at other players also coming in with the other positions and also creating a lot of competition yeah. in, 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 in the team. Does this have a way of playing its own psychology on the team and even the technical team as well? Yeah, that is, uh, you know, the policy of uh, uh, Coach uh, Apia. You see, he has given a lot of players mm. the chance, though he has his core of players there. When they were misbehaving, they misbehaved, and then they, they, they were disciplined. He had the young ones, you know, to fit in. And that is how you, you should address, you know, the, the, the coaching system at that highest level. Because you need to, for instance, we have Matt Maoto. He called him and he left him. This is how it goes. So if you see a player that is coming up, you try to get, let, him, let him have some feelings. Eh? And then you, you, once in a while you give him the chance. to Then you, you'll be developing the players. Because in every sector of football, there should be development. By giving them the chance. The matured ones are there. You know, it can happen. You know, it's very clear. You know, for some, maybe another four years, maybe uh, uh, Makilesian will not be there. Uh, Sulali Muntari will not be there. It's likely uh, even a, a, a Samoajan, even a Kevin Fatau. Fatau is well, even... Well, the goalkeepers can play yes. for a very yeah, long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then we have the, the, the younger ones who are in the system. I mean, we should start giving them the chance, you know, to, to, to start take, getting confidence. Because what we do uh, in the... In the at the uh, 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 national level, you don't have them uh, 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 in, in, a, in, in, in a long period. So you, you have to ensure that, you know, this is something that you have to go. If there is somebody, uh, you need him, you have to tell his good, uh, look, uh, look, take good care of uh, this, uh, you know, uh, player because I have interest in him. You, you understand? And that is exactly what... How, how worrying is Fatal Dauda's case when you... Again, this evening, there were moments where you would say that if we're playing against... Brazil, yeah, will be punished. Will be punished. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, you have to grow. Is he growing? Yeah, but if you have, you know, uh, opportunities like this, you have to, you know, grow. Your, yes, you have to take it and grow yourself. You, you understand? We all know that his, his problem is area, but even, you know, Kwarase, even Kwarase, we he had a problem when we were at the, the Nations Cup. He had the same problem. But then, uh, you know, we, we expect to, you know, 
also see Kwarase for some time. You know, he's been sidelined and uh, Fatawa has been... You know, let's see so that we burn. Because we are going to the, to the highest uh, level. Of, uh, we have to ensure that we get the, you know, pair, the good pair of hands that we can rely on. Because uh, in, a, in, in a World Cup, you know, uh, if uh, you are not... You make mistakes, you could be punished. You know, so it's very, very important that uh, we should be, you know, working out, you know, for, uh, with this uh, that of sort of weakness that they have. Because I believe otherwise, uh, you know, professors won't, you know, be upgrading their, their, <laughs> their knowledge. <laughs> you, you, you understand? Yes, I So, do. I mean, he, he can up upgrade himself as early as because he has seen his weak point. So even if you are not, you can be there and you can even, you know, get somebody to be on your own for the person to be, you know, doing certain things that you think that... I mean, sometimes you've got, this, is, this is your work, your profession, you know. So you have to take the advantage and make sure that your, your weak points, of course, I mean, as I said now, these are the two goalkeepers we have, you know. These are the two reliable goals because if not Fatal, it should be Kwarasi. And now we've, uh, we've added the, the, the young one, uh, yes, to, 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 to him. And, uh, I mean, it, it shows very clear they have to even upgrade themselves. It's very, very important because at that highest level, <laughs> you cannot make mistakes and uh, you don't get punished. And uh, we cannot go there and be considering some, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to say, uh, some uh, goals that, uh, you know, uh, uh, that uh, cannot be, you know, taken uh, away, away from the players. Let's do um, uh, some few minutes on the coach and then we'll take um, another break. <clears throat> How influential has Akwesi Apia been on this team? Oh, he has had control over the players, especially the younger ones. Uh, it's like uh, people did not understand him. Uh, at a stage, I was one of those people uh, who did not really understand where he was heading towards. But he has a lot of people surrounding him. One thing that you should understand. And then when he chose his assistant, he chose a friend. <laughs> well, you, you need to have a trusted lieutenant. Oh, yes. Yeah. And then as any general, you should have some uh, lieutenants who are working with you, who can whisper to you, who can tell you the truth without you getting offended. Just like me and you, you know, the way we used to uh, interact, even before we come on programs like this. Oh, this is the, okay, but this is how we see it, yes. So, Kwesafia had control over the team, and he had the total support of the GFA. And a, a, a greater segment of the media were in support of Kwesafia. In fact, I'm trying to look at the situation that is the media that even made Kwesafia. When the criticism started coming, they were coming because he was inviting individual players some people did not like. Mm -hmm. And then they were uh, also worried about the discriminatory punishment he was given to certain players for the same offense. Mm -hmm. We don't need to mention it because we have crossed sure. that line. And then there was also this... Uh, Attitude of can a Ghanaian do it? That doubts in the minds of some people. Can a Ghanaian coach take us to the World Cup? Can he take us to the promised land? So tonight everything has been settled. So Kwesiapia, in a nutshell, had control over a greater number of the players, especially the younger ones. Had the support of the FA and the media. Had the blessing of the government. I'm telling you, and also had the, the royal blessings. Because everybody, in fact, this one particular uh, qualification that I saw, everybody was interested in. Everybody was, uh, was uh, ready to sacrifice a little. I'm telling you that if you know the commercial interest that will come up after this qualification, you'll be surprised. A lot of Ghanaians will go entrepreneurs, small, small traders, will go and do some business in Rio de Janeiro and uh, Sao Paulo. And uh, lastly, the Ghanaian is a has a critical mind when it comes to football analysis. Forget the fact that uh, this man didn't play football. They know where a player is good and when a player is not good. As Prof, he will tell you, when House of Folks were House of Folk, I'm talking of the mid-70s, the supporters could make a lineup, and when they bring it, the same lineup with the coach. Because everybody knows, who are you going to drop? Like that 78 squad, let me revisit it again. Joker, are you going to drop Joker and go? You have well, he was paper. in the team, maybe he would. Now, what us. I'm saying, I'm just <laughs> reminding him. Yeah, let, let him go. <laughs> <laughs> you have PSK on the three. I will equate the captain shifted to three. You have uh, Akwe four, Kukudazi five, Chenchehini before, uh, later or before then, then Adok came. Ikachai also seven, Kayade eight, uh, now Pokwa free himself, the Beye. 
Ten, I won't mention the name. Eleven, I won't mention the name. <laughs> and you have the greatest players, ten and eleven. <laughs> Abu Razak and Polo. <laughs> let, let's, let's, let's just say, as for the ten and, and eleven, hey, I know they, them. One was uh, Abdul Karim Razak. <laughs> who was the uh, incidentally voted African Football of the Year in 1978. And another one, let's just say, he seated in the studio. <laughs> this On that note, we'll go for our final round of commercials. We'll be right back. <laughs> My name is Nathaniel Atto and I'm host of Sports Today on the Joy Sports Channel on Multi TV. It's exciting and it's action packed as we bring you all the compelling sports stories here in Ghana and also internationally. Between 7 a.m. and 8.30 a.m., it's every putt, every medal, every punch, every trophy, every card, and every kick right here on Joy Sports on Multi TV. Whether it's on the pitch or in the ring or on the race tracks, you know you have every reason to join me. It's Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It's it's all action-packed and it's all exciting. My name is Nathaniel Atto and I have love for sport. Premier League show, thus and every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Only on Joy Sports. The Premier League show. Your new lighting really provides the finishing touch. Where did you get this from? Global Lighting Center, of course. They've always been affordable and their quality is second to none. When it comes to lighting, there's only one name. Global Lighting Center. We've got all the latest European models. It's not just the quality outside. Our office lighting features European standard capacitors and ballast to protect your products. Our outdoor lights are weather protected and their diffusers won't discolor over time. Moreover, we offer technical advice to all our customers before and after sales. All of which convinced me and my family that Global Lighting has the brightest ideas and at the most affordable prices for all our lighting needs. Global Lighting Center, your solution to quality lighting. We've been able to see over 100 patients who need support. We cannot do this work on our own. We need your help. We need your support. Look at these children with these anomalies. What do you have? TV is organizing a national installer training throughout the country. The training is for fresh people who would like to learn about satellite installation. Trainees will also go through some marketing tutorials to turn them into result-oriented salesmen. Upper East, Bogatanga from December 10. Pick a form at Melmat Multimedia. Western Region, at Asankwegra on December 13. Pick a form at CME Enterprise. Cost of training is 40 Ghana CDs, which includes ID card, certificate, and lunch. To pick up a form, call 0302 211 or 0244 340 424 and 0244 
Visit us on www.multitvworld.com or call 0302-211-68025 for a multi-TV accredited dealer. Of other program uh, coach, uh, well, he's a coach now, uh, Mohamed well, Ahmed Pulu, and before as well, um, is still with me in the studio. Football historian Uncle James Oedeji is also here. Mm. Coach. Let me, let me start with you. Yeah. Now we have qualified. Yeah. What should we be doing between now and June next year? Uh, well, I, I think, uh, you know, the, 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 you know the, the players they must, you know, set up their mind that now we are going to the, to the highest level. Mm -hmm. It's the mindset. Because as of football, they play. And fortunately for them, they are playing with those they are going to play, you know, at the, the, the World Cup level. They are playing professional. All of them are playing professional football. So it, it is at the highest level. So I, I, I think uh, the, is the mindset that is very, very important. And then they have to, you know, keep themselves very, very fit. Because at this level, you are going as a Ghanaian. And you are not going as a, you know, uh, uh, to, uh, as a professional, you know, a, a team that you play outside. This is the Ghanaians that so we are going there with a Ghanaian, you know, culture of football, style of football. So that, that, that style of football should be, you know, uh, uh, tuned for all the, for the world to see the, 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 the Ghanaian style of football, especially when we have a, a Ghanaian coach. And opposed, he's done so much. Now he has seen everything that uh, you know the Ghana has. He can now you know upgrade whatever you know uh, uh, players that he, he wants, and then make sure that uh, he always have to talk to them because he's not going to get them. He's not going to get them at, 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 you know for some time till you know the, the time is uh, you know getting closer before uh, mm -hmm. the, the decision is taken for them to come uh, closer. So he should be talking to them. Giving them the, 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 the no, we have a, we have a, a, a very you know a, a job to do. We, it's a finished job. We have a job to do, and uh, we we have to ensure that the Ghanaian style of football is shown at that highest level. Because all the work up that we went, we went with a with a, with a missing link. How would we do this? Yeah, I think uh, it's it's very clear. Now you could see, you know the the. the the, 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 even the Ghanaian formation of football. We are used to 4 4 2. We don't go, and that is why you see you know, our football moving the way it's supposed to move. When, when, when we have a, 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 a one man a, a, a striker oh, up there, so you could see that we, all, we always have to play, 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 play around there before we even get there. No, we are tired. But you play, and then you, you make sure that you, you have uh, the, the two marksmen there, and you supply them the ball, and they finish up. So we, we play that uh, you know, agro style of football by possessing the ball and let the ball do the work by scoring goals. You, you understand? Yes, so if, if, if even uh, we, you have a problem, if the, even you have a problem defensively, look, in the, the last match that we played, we, had pro we thought we had problem with defensive uh, setup. But what happened? The defense were, were solid. Mm -hmm. Look at even the, 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 this match that, that was played. They were solid. They were doing the covering and timely intervention and other things. So it, it, was, it was very clear that uh, it, uh, there is no way uh, uh, Egyptians can score more than uh, you know, two goals even. It was clear. So if this thing is maintained with the local coach, the Ghanaian coach, he has to maintain it so that we take it 
to the World Cup where you know the platform is there for everybody to showcase is uh, you know a, 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 a style of football. And that is where we, we see the agro, you know, football that we're talking Uncle James, about. I'll, I'll put the same question to you. Okay. We are there. Yes. After a very long and arduous journey. What, in your opinion, do you think we should be doing between now and June next year? The stakeholders must meet. Who are the stakeholders? Oh, one, the sponsors. Two, the custodians of the team. I'm talking of direct custodians. I'm talking of the GFA. Uh, three, the government and uh, for the club owners, especially local scene. Because uh, you can't build the uh, Black Stars in isolation at the top without any foundation. That we have to strengthen the local league too. You understand? That's yes, what I we do. should be doing. Because my, my old two and co are products of the future. The, 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 yes, because they are supposed So we have to produce more. Than the, Atobra is there. Kobna, you see all those boys coming up. Sule Mohammed or King Faisa, all those things. These boys should also be looked at. Side by side with the Wafu team uh, handled by Maxwell Konyodi. So Maxwell is engaged to handle the Wafu team. Then two, the sponsors. It is very important that we know the Black Star, like Sanidara said, is the flagship of the country. The Black Star is the, is the, is the, the easiest exportable commodity in this country. So when you now give the Black Star 100 CDs as sponsorship deal, how do we now arrange so that part of it is channeled towards development of the coaches? Part of it is given to the Premier League to cushion the shock of financing. Part of it is also given for media coverage. Do you understand? Yes, I do. That is a uh, stakeholder. There are a lot of stakeholders. The government should always provide assurance, security, infrastructure, and many other things. We all know all these things are uh, embodied in our various discussions on our dining table and at uh, a relaxation spot. And three, the sports bill. That should have been number one. What is contained in the sports bill? You, as a journalist, sitting journalist, uh, Kwame, should now go and look at the sports bill that this thing we are discussing this evening is incorporated, if it's not already there, into the sports bill. So that when it is passed by act of parliament, then it becomes law. It becomes law, for example, to say that if the Black Stars are invited and they are playing a qualification series, this is what is due them. So we don't need to be a public debate. If they give them 15,000, we don't need to be a public debate because already enshrined in the law. Two, a Ghanaian coach should lead the Black Stars. It is already in the law. You understand what I'm saying? Three, the other coaches who are producing these boys are not to be isolated. They should give them some money, if not uh, cash, in terms of uh, their uh, training fee, equipment, equipment and it should be given to them. Like I know here, he, the sacrificial work he did many years, oh, I think 205 or 206. Mm. When he went on tour of the whole country, identified players, most of these boys are playing Division 1 now. Yeah. If you go to Wa, uh, Techim and all those, especially the northern block of the country. Uh, so that's what should be done. Then three. Now, we ask you, Sapia and Max Okonedi, what is your core team? You know, I mentioned it. Mm -hmm. So this thing, what should we be done? Uh, anytime there's a FIFA free date, this majority of these boys will assemble. If it is Europe that is the central point, uh, like France or Netherlands, they should meet there and play quality Friendlies. friendly matches. You play Portugal, especially those who have qualified. You play them, you test them. The boys know that, oh, I played alongside Lampard. I played uh, alongside Van Persie. I played alongside Lionel Messi. So when they now meet in uh, Brazil, it wouldn't be a, a, a what do you call it, a inferior to superior relationship. It's a shoulder to shoulder. You see, sometimes the way uh, Sule Mutari behaves towards uh, David Beckham and co. It's to show that you are playing for Manchester United and playing for uh, <laughs> uh, Inter Milan. So what's the difference? The same level. So the platform should also be raised. And three, when we are now talking about the Black Stars, people should not cast insinuations. You may disagree with the coach or with anybody, but don't insult him. So the level of uh, public discourse like we are doing should be decent. Okay. And then lastly, we should promote our people at all levels, to enter into the executives of Wafu, CAF, FIFA. That is what killed us those days when they couldn't qualify because there was no mouthpiece at the top. So in Cairo, they cannot decide, that, oh, let's make only Central Africa and North Africa to qualify. I know what the Blast has suffered since 1974 with Zahir. Mm -hmm. It was terrible. The Blast has won the they were more Twitter over there. 
and that thing went to pass because nobody could close nobody the spoke about it and unfortunately yes, now we have them out now we have uh, multi tv now we can come here and talk about it. <laughs> exactly. Those days, there was nothing like only GBC, yeah. radio box. That's all. I'm going to give Professor the last word. Yeah. Prof, we, we are there now. You've given us uh, your expert uh, yes. thoughts on what we should do to um, you know, sustain um, this uh, qualification that we have done. I'll put this very difficult one to you. Mm. Does Kusiapia go alone, or you think he needs some help? From where? That's what I'm asking. Yeah, but not uh, a technical. Uh, I am uh, asking you. You know, I, I think uh, uh, if he needs any help, he will, he will say it himself. And I think uh, he's been given the help that he, he is looking for. I mean, uh, we have uh, a seniors, those who have coached him, they are still in the system. We have the, 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 the uh, uh, Samadis, the, the Osam Dudus, the Benkovi, even our, uh, our uncle Benkovi is that. And um, I mean, and some of us uh, have played with him. You know, so I mean, like, uh, what? Even this, this kind of discussions that we have, we I think they do, you know, uh, 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 transfer to him. Oh sure, it's very clear. So what he needs is, is for him to, you know, come up with an idea, because we must allow him to grow. We, we must allow him to use his brains. But if we are going to, you know, uh, exp uh, you know, import somebody, that one you're not in favor. I'm not. If, if I'm he approach, never, if he approach I never, you. Yes, you, as in Mohammed Amekolu. Yeah. yeah. If he approached you, yes, he wants you to take you to the World Cup. Yeah. As a member of his backroom staff, would you go? I'm prepared, Pre prepared, well prepared. On that note, we draw <laughs> the curtains on this evening's edition of the Sports Night. Make sure you keep the celebrations uh, a bit muted. We have another seven months to go to Brazil 2014. When we do well over there, maybe we can up the ante as far as celebration is concerned. But this evening, I want to salute the entire um, team that was in Cairo, uh, together with the technical team, uh, the officers who were there from the Ghana Football Association, the fans uh, who, um, you know, against advice, I'm sure, still decided to go and support the team. We salute all of you for your hard work. We salute all of you for your effort. Hey, Brazil 2014, we are going to be there to see the Black Stars make it to the semi-final and who knows, the final of the World Cup. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.